What's going on, y'all? So, hopefully, um, the thumbnail and shit was in misleading. If you are in this video, I hope um, you clicked on it for the purposes of learning how to play Varus. He is a strong ADC. Uh, he's a very viable ADC. Um, and in played in the right hands, uh, you can actually snowball heavy and uh, definitely carry a game. Um, and I think I got the... Never mind, I don't got the video up. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I think it's this one right here. Let me lower the volume. Cool. So in this game, I'm playing with uh my boy Jesse as well as my boy uh Fernando. Uh, Fernando's playing Shaco. Jesse's playing uh Quirky. I'm playing uh Varus. So when playing Varus as well as any other ADC, what you really want to focus on is the team comp. Um, as well as, and this is why I did this shit so I can act, actually control and stop it and shit. So I want to look at the team comp, and this doesn't matter what ADC you're playing. You want to look at the team comp and see right off the bat what can kill you. Doesn't matter if you're playing mid lane, doesn't matter if you're playing jungle, doesn't matter for anything. I'm not going to go too in depth in that. I'll make a separate video if you guys want to, um, uh, you know, like tips on that. Uh, but I'm assuming that you guys already know this, that look at your map about five, ten seconds every every time you farm or whatever. Always look at your map. Um, I told, uh, I think my boy Jesse, you pretty much want to look at the map the same amount as you breathe. So every time you breathe, which is a lot, I'm, I'm hoping uh, you want to look at the map just because that's a great source of information. But aside from that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the video right here. I bought a Dorns, and I'm sorry if you can't see it towards the bottom. I bought a uh, Dorns blade and a pot, and I also went E first. So with various, when you go E, it's really hard to miss just because instead of a skill shot, it's it's a circle, right? It's not a big circle, but it's it's a circle. On top of that, it's what E gives you. It slows, so it's um O E. Your E is called Hail of Arrows. Its range is 925 and its cooldown uh, scales from 18 to 16 to 14 to 12 at the time. As long as they're in that circle, it refreshes. So they're slowed for as long as they're in that circle. On top of that, it negates 50% of their healing, which that's very important. Also, Hail of Arrows in conjunction with uh, Blighted Quiver, um, it it um it procs the stacks that blighted quiver uh, puts on so i know i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here but uh just know this uh w is essentially like uh veins w i believe which is uh silver bolts it's a passive it's always on you don't have to worry about it you don't have to click it um so uh the passive for blighted Qu Qu Quiver, if you've ever uh, seen a Varus or played as Varus, it's those little purple things that uh, go around the champion every time you auto them. Um, it applies a stack of Blight. That's what it's called. Uh, it maxes to three stacks, and your Q and your E uh, detonate that, that's those stacks. The more stacks, the more damage. Pretty straightforward. Alright, so from there, let's see... Right now, we're, what we're doing here, we're just fucking around. Um, later on, after the video, I'll go ahead, you know, put in, like, the little funny moments and shit. But uh, we're invading, just dicking around. We're seeing that the invade is not going to go right. Um, and, we, yeah, we, we just start backing up. So, let's go to... Yeah, our jungler actually got kind of cheesed badly. However, he was able to come back hard. So, <clears throat> to start off, Varus' passive is, uh, it's called Living Vengeance. So, what it, what it does is, every time he gets, uh, Varus gets a champion kill or an assist, he gains 30% bonus attack speed uh, for 5 seconds. If he kills a minion or a monster, uh, Varus gains half that attack speed for 5 seconds. Now, what does this tell you? Every time you auto and kill a minion, 
that that's an that's an, a speed steroid in itself. So you want to pretty much just kind of pounce or you know tap the enemy champion a little bit just because that's when you're getting your uh, your attack speed through. So go in with 15%, let's say, uh, one or two autos, back up, go back to farming, and like that. Let's go. Now, you'll know that your passive is active when you see your quiver kind of light up. I know it's really subtle, but... Alright. See, so I... I try to auto every moment I get when if I, there's no like I try to get to that minion all right back up see, now I don't have my uh, my my support here he actually helped out our jungler so I'm kind of playing it safe see I went up I autoed uh, Ezreal once kind of back back up play it safe just because I do see the uh, Ezreal support um, in the uh, in the bush <clears throat> back up auto once Auto twice. Now I'm seeing. I'm. I'm seeing like, oh shit! This guy's just gave me free damage. Oh, all right, cool. Uh, fuck, dude. Hey, I'll auto you all day if you let me. Hey, look how much health I've taken just by putting in one or two autos. Right. Now this is why I don't like passive supports. Is because, yep. Look. All right. So this is why I love this video. Well, first off, it's a complete video. <laughs> it's not just me taking a whole bunch of clips and shit. And, um, it, you know, it, I, you guys are able to see what I do during laning phase, mid phase, or whatever, during the mid game, late game, and eventually till we win. Sorry, spoiler alert. Yeah, we, we fucking destroyed this game. By the way, uh, SP knows a guy. If you're watching this video, bro, this is, uh, when you first met me in the crew, um, you were playing Diana, and I'm so sorry, dude, if, if you, you were in so much pain. <laughs> that's, that's just a side note. But, alright, as you saw, I flashed in. Uh, Varus isn't really, and that's what I want you guys to understand. Even though you're, you, the people say, oh, your champion's really early game, uh, or really late game, you know, you shouldn't engage or whatever you shouldn't really just try to farm up or whatever whatever Varus is not all that in the early game yes he does damage but just as you saw um just a few autos those of you that think now i'm not saying to go balls to the wall and just miss a fuck ton of farm and you know whatever but not go in take a few autos back up take a few autos back up Eventually, you will chunk down your opponent's health to the point that if they don't back or play safer, which in in turns, you're pretty much still punishing them because that's farm that they're missing, that's shit that they're missing, or whatever, you will kill them. Which is, look, right off the bat, it's not even three minutes into the game. Well, it's about to be. But not even three minutes into the game, 400 gold, and I'm up 11, well, I have 11 farm. I don't really remember how much farm that Ezreal had at this point. And down at the bottom, I did hit first blood. Now that the Ezreal's down, this this uh this poor Braum <laughs> is defenseless. So as you saw, just in case that was a bit too quick, I go in. I see Ezreal. He's out. I'm gonna throw this right behind him to slow him down. And as soon as I see him do his little blink shit, I flash for him. Once I flash, I auto right when i auto he can flash he can whatever as soon as i got that auto off that's it's done deal it's not gonna be like oh it's too far away or whatever but you gotta you gotta you you know you gotta want it you gotta have to see okay now had he backed up or flashed away or whatever at half health obviously i wouldn't do that because i can't kill him but i saw hey this guy has no health and i really doubt he's expecting me just to flash in and do that so i did it and sure enough, gave me that. So what I'm doing here, I stepped in front of the Braum to block him off. I did back up because I was afraid of, I don't know. I was afraid of maybe I would take too much minion damage or some shit or whatever. And he could fuck me up. So this is one thing I'm not understanding. Why ADCs are now taking uh, TP. I'm guessing it's not the miss farm. So one of my friends told me. That really doesn't make much sense. 
Uh, but whatever, I do see the enemy jungler in the bush, so I am playing it back a little bit just in case I need to uh, back up and run away. <laughs> Alright, cool. So this is what we're doing. We're just farming up. Uh, Varus is Q. He draws back uh, gradually, increasing his range and damage. Um, dealing minimum 10, 47, 83, 120, 157, uh, plus 1.1 per attack damage to maximum 15, uh, 70, 125, 180, 235, uh, plus 1.65 per... Okay. So all you gotta know for this is as you rank your Q, the longer you hold it back, the more damage it does. That's all that means. So if you just kind of, you know, press your Q or whatever, it'll do, you know, it'll max out. Once you max your Q, it'll max out at 157 damage. If you, re if you have a fully charged Q, once you max out your Q, it'll do 235 damage. Now, I think that also uh, puts on top the blight stacks so um you know that that's more math in itself uh, versus uh, magic damage equal see yeah that's uh yeah fuck that noise i'm not nah. yeah so it detonates his blight does damage and the longer you hold your q whatever you want to use your q when the enemy is trying to run away Right, you don't really want to use it as during the fight. You know, you're fighting. Uh, you use it. You what you want to do is while you're fighting. Let's say they get into your face, which you're gonna see in the video. Let's say uh, they get into your face or some shit. You want to auto, auto, auto. Try to get those three uh, stacks of light and then E, right? Which is this hail of arrows. Yes, it slows. However, the most important thing, it decreases the amount of healing that is done. That's 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 a big plus on Varus. Um, and the an active on the W on the bloody quiver is piercing arrow deals additional damage equal to six, seven, eight, nine, even up to ten percent of the uh, target's missing health. So the more health they're missing, the more damage you're pretty much gonna do. Uh, let's see, damage is increased by up to fifty percent to yada 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 missing HP based on charge time. The damage is capped to against monsters. Um, uh, Varus's ult uh, is a tendril. It's this thing that he throws. It's a root. So he throws this this fucking wor tendril, worm-looking thing, or whatever, and it stays on the champion. It roots them for what two seconds, and it puts three blight stacks on them. So, uh. At that point in time, they're kind of like a sitting duck. So that's the time you go in and abuse on them. Now, if they have any teammates that are dumb enough to <laughs> to stay near the uh, the corrupted target, um, the tendril will then go on to them, go on to the next target, go on to the next target that has not been already corrupted. That's the important thing, right? So it'll go on to you know the first person. Root them, go on to the next, root them, go on to the next, root them, and so on and so forth. So we're here. I back up because I don't got any minions, and Ezreal's Q kind of hurts when it hits you. So I'm going to back up. I'm just going to farm up. All right, got my, my passive going. I see my this guy's going in. I'm going to hit the target most close to me. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy. I see that the Braum is dead. I don't know why I healed there. I don't know why I felt the need to heal there. I'm not going to lie. This support was awesome. Alright. So going back. Farming. <sighs> this is what I mean, bro. You have health. Dude, just run up. Just back up. Just go away. Did you see that? This is what I mean by... Hold on to your Q until they're running away. As soon as here. So this idiot decides that he wants to come back. All right. I see that my my boy Tarek he barely has any mana. Probably not to pull off a stun. 
So, right here, I see Ezreal's running right. I'm going to, you know, unfortunately missed my shit. I don't know if I clipped him. No, I didn't clip him. So, he blinks uh, away from me. And once I see that he blinks, I'm like, hey, you know what? He doesn't have any other escapes, right? So I hold my Q until, until I reach far enough, right? Because I don't want him to escape. So just enough uh, to hit him. Now, have you noticed that the outer ring is kind of uh, shaded out and the inner ring is lit up? The inner ring is what right now your this attack can reach this far. The outer ring is the maximum limit. Once I saw that, I, I probably could have kind of predicted it to turn it a little bit to the side, but I don't know if he was going to keep running straight or not. But, eh, good on his part to try to juke. So, what's that? Two? Two kills already? No. Just about five minutes or so. So, I'm going to keep farming, keep farming, keep farming. Right now, I'm sitting pretty at 1,600 gold. All right, so this is perfect. This is why you ping your Mias. This is why you ping your Mias. If they tell you ping your Mias, don't just do it once. Spam the living hell out of it. Now, if they still say, dude, ping your Mias, ping the lane that you think your laner will go to if you're playing mid lane. Uh, you can do this for any lane, but more because this is uh, my mid laner's opponent, right? SP knows a guy. I can't wait to fuck you up later on in this video. <laughs> but uh, ping, missing, whatever. Had I known that Diana was roaming at the time, you know, I would have probably played a little bit back, played it safer, whatever. However, I don't know. Maybe she backed, came through river. I, I don't know. Dude. Um, But yeah, ping your lane. Hey, missing like twice. Then ping the lane that you think your laner will gank. You don't always have to follow because this that's the perfect way to punish your laner by them missing. So punish their lane, but let the other people know, hey, I don't know where the fuck this bitch is at. Play safe. Just no. Uh, so I think here I die, though. Yep. Yep, that hurts. Oh, ignite. Damn. Yo, my boy. Oh, wait. Do I die? Yeah, you didn't give a fuck. <laughs> that dude wasted everything off me. All right. Okay, so for building, right now you will notice I'm not building a... Um, what the fuck is it called? IE. I'm not building IE. I'm not building... Um, uh, Blade of the Ruin King. I'm not building any of that shit. I'm building uh, Ginsu's. With Varus, he's a on-hit opponent. So when you do you do damage by AD, by attacking normally, but also AP uh, by on-hit. Uh, and Ginsu's just maximizes that even more. Um, I know the stats look shitty though. Plus 25, plus 25 AP, plus 25 whatever. But the passive against Zeus is really what makes it really powerful. Which basic attacks deal 5, uh, five to plus 10% bonus attack damage, physical, and uh, so you're doing mixed damage. This pretty much here means you're doing this type of damage, AD damage, and in AP damage you're doing this much. Basic attacks grant 8% attack speed uh, plus 2.5 bonus attack speed and... Wait, damage, I am so sorry. And 2.5% uh, ability power for 5 seconds. Up to 6 stacks. So it stacks up 6 times. What that, you know, calculates to, I don't know. If we have any uh, math whiz in the, uh, watching this video, you guys can do that. Let's keep going. So if you notice, I bought a recurve bow. Um, 9 times out of 10... If you're playing Varus and you're you're doing Ginsu's first item, which you should, um, you're gonna want to do recurve. Uh, I always have a knack for buying. Um, this is just an FYI. 
I always have a knack for buying refillable pots as soon as I can and boots. Boots, especially if you're a slow champion, it speeds you up. It gives you a little bit more maneuverability. Um, and uh, refillable pots, even if I have a potion, you'll notice I sell it and buy refillable pots. Refillable pots pays back in itself just because for as long as you, you know, you're going to be in lane or even roaming or whatever. And if you don't have lifesteal as of yet, refillable pots pays back for itself because you will be using pots, right? So why not have two every time you back and you've already paid the 150? Uh, every pot is worth 50. So let's say I go bot lane, I get fucked, I use both pots. That's already 100. I go roam from bot to mid. Let's say I had two pots again. That's what, 200 already? You guys see what I'm saying? As opposed to refillable pots pays back in itself. All right, so we're gonna just speed this up. Um, I'm looking to see, you know, what other lanes are, are doing, kind of see what's going on. Diana's back mid. I, I I do have somewhat of a lead, especially with the recurve bow. It's gonna come in very nice here. I, I don't see my Turk engaging, so I'm gonna pl play a little bit safe. I'm a max uh, E, then max Q, and then max W. So, playing it safe, playing it safe. When Ezreal backs up, I'm going on DeBron. When Ezreal re-engages, I'm going back on him. See, we're isolating, isolating here. So we're going that. Braum is going to go down here. And we're going to see, does Ezreal want? I don't think he wants it. <laughs> Again, like for example, that right there. You want to pick and choose your targets, guys. Don't just stay, you know, tunnel vision on one target or whatever. You want to kill the priority targets. Braum is big as fuck and he's husky. So it's going to take a lot more to kill him. Why not kill the Ezreal or zone off the Ezreal? So Ezreal's fucked up right here. Boom and boom. What was it, like one or two autos, then slow him down, and then the Q. Four kills before ten minutes. You can already see how this game is going to go. I pinged uh, my mid laners Mia's because Diana is either... Yep. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she's up here. No reason as to why she should be there, but she is. So we're going to fast walk into lane. So we're here. All right, let's back that up just a little bit. So I see Tarek is already engaging. I'm going to back up. As soon as I see the opportunity, Braum did block the Tendril from going directly on him. So that was unfortunate. However, look what happens. If you guys saw... Uh, all right. Where is it? Right there, right? Alright, so I know it's really light, but look, you see this big giant circle that's there? There's a, I'm standing right here, there's a line that's going right here. That tendril will attach to them, to him, and then anyone who would be standing, an enemy opponent that would be standing in this circle, will also be attached. So, boom, I'm going to auto Braum, auto Braum, I'm going to Braum, I'm going to switch my attention to the Ezreal. Look how much, bruh, <laughs> that poor Ez never had a chance. Look how much damage. And this is why the blight stacks are really important. And then just, hey, you could, do just smash your fucking head onto the keyboard. Just auto, 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 three stacks, E, auto, 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 Q. Done. Like, you get kills. And then you go and get platinum and challenges and shit. So, again, auto, auto, I'm, make, I'm moving, I'm making my way. Boom. Then Nate, and... He thought he could get away, and hell no. Unfortunately, my support died. I ward the bush just so, just in case this guy runs away, I can still see him. All right, he backs up. I'm going to continue farming, get my shit. I see Jarvan in the corner. However, I don't, unfortunately, have any wards right now. Oh, so I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm hiding behind my minions. I auto him as much as I can because 
If I auto him, I know he will be less likely to try to engage me under tower, right? So with melee champs and tanks, uh, if you can try to auto them while you still have distance, um, they will be less likely to try to collapse on you under tower. They'll be like, dude, you know what? I'm not, don't have this much health, and this, this guy kind of potentially fucked me up. Alright, so we're back in, and I think we're going to buy the axe, right? Yep, bought axe. If you guys noticed, I still don't have my first major item, and I already bought spe uh, Berserker Greaves. Berserker Greaves, great item early on. If you could get tier 2 boots ASAP, that's perfect. If you could get tier 2 boots and an item, you're fucking, you're a god. Alright, so... I kind of wanted I wanted to do this just so you guys can see um you know what's my thought process and what I'm doing and um because if I just cut up the video and put it to all the fighting scenes and shit and then talk over that you guys might not get like the whole damn you know I see that he's getting kills but what is he doing what what's his thought process behind okay why did you engage that time but I saw that you didn't engage that other time but why did you do this you know, so this is this this is what I'm doing this for, um, and I do know that it's rough starting off and you know uh, picking up champs and shit. Uh, I'm here to tell you, at least for me, I think of all the ADCs kind of the same. They obviously have things that are pro are unique to them, and that you have to kind of find out and adjust. Uh, but you pretty much hey stay back, shoot shit. And destroy teams. I, I I don't I don't mean to like dumb it down, <laughs> but hey, that it is what it, that that's that's what you do, All right? So I'm playing it safe here. I'm backing up because I don't know where the fuck the mid laner is again. Nor do I know. Do I know where the jungler is at? Yeah, I see the jungler and I see the mid laner now. Okay. So do I, do I rotate here or did Shaco shake fucked? Mm, okay, so I did see something. So I decided to rotate. I saw Shaco back off, so I'm like, you know what, this is not worth. I'm holding on to my alt for, like, let me see. Okay, so I'm rotating. Okay. So I was trying to find something, trying to see if I could do something, but yeah, no. Ah, so we auto, auto, auto. Farming, I already have five kills. Five and one. Cezero still really wants to fight. And we're going to continue doing the same shit. So, okay. Beautiful play, bro. Beautiful fuck. Yo, past Alex. Past, past Grim. Grim. If you're in the past, you fucking god. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, uh, I think that's Brom's all. Brom fucking does this fucking shit. Knocks you up. Kind of slows you and fucks you up. So, what I did was... I fucking flashed that shit like a fucking two... 2 million IQ god. So, I'm here, we're here, we're here. I see Targ, I think, was engaging. Okay, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Backing up. Okay, this guy, you know, touches me. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Alt him. I see Tarek. Whoops. I see Tarek. He's gonna go in. He's like, I want this booty. Braum is like, you know what? That's my ADC. You can't have him. So, as soon as he ults and I see him... I know he's going to ult me, because he doesn't give a fuck about the target. I flashed right above, so this is why I did it. Instead of me flashing back, which probably some of you would do, instead of flashing back, I flashed forward and to the side. The reason why is because if I flash back, then I'm out of range of the Ezreal. This is a for sure kill here. Once I ulted him, it was pretty much like, we're killing this fucking guy. We're not letting him go, right? So I flash forward into the side so I can clear Brom's ult and be able to still um, kite the ever living shit out of the Ezreal because he's pretty much dead. After I, I uh, auto him a few more times, I E him, it'll slow him down. From there, it's like, bro, where the fuck are you gonna go? The amount of attack speed that I have and damage that I do is just like, dude. You're, you're, you're done. <laughs> you're not going to live here. So, I flash. Keep going. 
He flashed my E, pin him, boom, and one more. And then I just step in front of this guy, auto him to living hell, and there you go. There's a double. Supports, by the way, it's not nice to take kills. Let the ADC take the kills. I know the whole kill secure support shit or whatever. That's why they made Pike now. Please don't take your ADC's kills. They really need that. And I'm not talking like as, as Draven or whatever. I'm talking as any ADC. We really need kills. If you want us to be decent. Uh, okay. Yeah, top was just bad, bro. Top fucking got destroyed. I got seven kills so far. How fuck did that Ezreal? Uh, so that shit happens. So here, now we got our boots, we got our Berserker Greaves, and we got Ginsu's. So now you guys are going to see this stupid, this stupid crazy attack speed. Uh, so I'm going, where am I going? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Okay, I'm roaming the, I'm going bot lane. Alright, autoing, okay. Hold up, just so you guys can see. <clears throat> so once, once I kill the minion, think about this shit. I kill a minion, or a champion, I get attack speed. I have a fully stacked Ginsu's, that's attack speed. I also build a Hurricane on Varus, that's more attack speed. The amount of unhit damage alone is fucking ridiculous. And on top of that, when I proc the uh, W's passive with the three Blight Stacks, with my E or Q... Fuck. <laughs> so, this, is, this champ is really easy, but you know... You just have to kind of get used to this. Look, look at look at the crazy attack speed right now. Right now, this Ezreal should be fearing me. Yep, look, two autos, three autos, three autos, and he's a third health down. I already have my ult up. If we can, we're going on this. However, I'm gonna go ahead and farm my my baby girl Diana. Espino's a guy. I fucking hate you. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, SP. I fucking hate you so much, dude. When you're playing with me. When you're playing against me. Look at Look at it, bro. Dude's like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, hey, yeah, nah, nah. I was like, nah, bro. It's cool, Varys. I wasn't here, man. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, SP. <laughs> you must hate and my mid laner gets fucked again. <laughs> so I'm gonna auto, 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 stay behind my Tarek. This guy's fucked, and we root him. Boom. I see this guy's coming in. I get my glasses. Did I switch automatically? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. So I did switch. <sighs> Fucking tearing it up, dude. So you guys can see just what the fuck. Okay. I don't know where Jarvin's at, and I don't know where Diana's at. This is why I'm playing this safe. So once, as soon as um, Tarek stuns, I'm throwing my ult. We're going to CC lock this guy down, therefore he cannot blink out, right? Once I see the third or second blight stack, because he's really low. So once I detonate that blight, uh, blight stack, he's he's dead. Right? That's why I throw my E. I didn't throw my Q because, again, I use my Q if they're trying to escape. Right? So, boom, he's dead. I, once, once I kill him, I continue backing up. Continue backing up. Because I know Braum is going to want to run to his tower, right? Braum isn't going to want to run under my tower. He's going to want to run to his tower. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to block that path. Right now, I'm blocking all of this. For Braum. And I'm also blocking all of this. For uh, this guy. Which you kind of have to be careful. Because it could turn for the worst. See right now he's like oh fuck that shit. This guy hurts. Sad face. I Boom and boom. Dead. Before 20 minutes. I'm already at 9 kills. 
I'm not gonna lie, bro. Varus is one of those champs that's fun as hell. Ezreal still wants to try to challenge. <laughs> Ezreal's getting fucked. <laughs> this poor Jarvan is getting destroyed. Oh, Jarvan, you think you're getting away, Jarvan? Jarvan! You see? That's why you hold on to the cube, bro. You see that? That Jarvan was like, bro, please. Please let me go. Please. Let me just, let me see my family one more time. <laughs> and then Varys said, yo, fuck that, boy. <laughs> So at this point in time, um, I forgot who I'm assuming it was a Yasuo. He wanted to, uh, he wanted to just surrender. He's like, "Yo, fuck this! I'm not having fun or whatever." Oh, oh, yeah, we're going for it. Yeah, yeah, we're no. Damn a triple. A tri oh, damn. I'm not gonna lie, man. The um, the Tarek was really good. So you guys stop it right here. So, Espy knows a guy. I'm gonna fuck you up just for what you did to that Yasuo, which is so garbage. That's what happens. As soon as I see her, I know she wants it. She wants the booty. So I alt her, and I just start going to town. Check this out. Bump, bump, bump. Proc my shit. Yeah, you ain't getting away. Bump, bump, bump. I flash forward. And this Braum is pretty much. Again, this is why I hate passive supports because had that bit of brand, we might have been fucked. Might have been. But the fact that it's a brawn and he needs teammates to follow up, that's why I personally don't really enjoy. Yeah, this guy, this guy, you yeah, know. And another triple. So before 20 minutes, I had 15 kills. Guys, by the way, if you notice, I'm not doing any crazy plays. This literally anybody can do this. I I I'm I'm unranked. <laughs> I have no you feel me like you guys can do this. This isn't like this is just honestly, this is just looking at the map, being aware of what's going on, and being aware of the current situation. If you guys can, go for the kill. Go for the like the little bit risky play. If you guys feel like it's too risky and you guys can, don't even sweat it. If you've noticed, my Tarek is out of position over here, and so is my Quirky. However, I see this. I'm in ADC, and I engaged onto a Diana. Why? Because I know for sure I can kill this Diana. I'm sorry, Esprit, but hey, at that current time, come on, bro. 12-2 uh, Varus, you're mine. I'm, I'm going to take you out that night. So, boom, boom. I think this Corky completely missed his all. Oh, whatever. So I'm autoing, auto autoing, proc, bump, and you're done. As soon as I kill that champion, hey, you know what? My passive, I get attack speed. We're, we're going to go on a murder train. If I die, at the very least, I know I got a Taric and a Corky that can still clean up. That's what I'm thinking here. I flash whatever the fuck happened here, and I'm still autoing. I, I want to kill that Ezreal. Because that Ezreal is the only damage that, right now, that's in this situation. Braum, no damage. He just has CC. He can CC me, but Ezreal is ultimately going to be the one to fuck me up. So as long as I kill Ezreal and Diana, this Braum is... He's just cheese. And then I'm going to make him Swiss cheese. Like so. So, once... Okay. A lot of... Uh, a lot of players that I've played against with, I don't know if it's the rank that I'm currently in or, you know, the people that I play with or whatever, whenever they're at this amount of health, they get, like, I guess scared or start, or, like, they're like, oh, shit, I don't know. Um, this is what you do. And, you know, this isn't me trying to be, like, a funny guy or whatever. This is, honestly, this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking at the corner, I see, I have Shaco alive, I have Corky alive, Tark alive, two of those, which are with me. I see Ezreal's dead, Diana's dead, Brahmin's also dead, so that's a three effective players. I'm also looking at the map, and if you guys see, I know it's kind of hard, I'm sorry, but actually let me see if I do this, uh, that doesn't make it any better. I see Renekton at our top. Uh, tier 2, if you guys can see towards the bottom, that circle right here. 
he's down there. So that's their fourth player. That means their fifth player, which is Jarvin, he's fucking somewhere doing God knows what. So that means, you know what? I can't really get punished. If he tries to punish me, I have a stun bot and I have someone else that can help me do damage. So why not just push this tower? Three players down. Look how fast we're taking this tower. Jarvin shows. No problem. A corking kind of pokes. Taking damage. And we effectively got tower. And as Jarvin tries to go in, and bop. Dead. Nothing special. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just analyzing the situation. And what's going on. And from there, just proceed. Right? So we continue going on. I don't, by the way, guys, I'm sorry if this video is a bit long. I just, you know, really want you guys, you know, to understand of what my mind said, what I'm thinking about, and all that shit. And you know, unfortunately, it does. I'll try to trim the video up, but yeah. Um, I'll put it also in the description guides and shit uh, that you guys can visit to actually look this shit up. Um, thanks to the person that um made the guide for Varus, by the way. Uh, I will also be linking that in the description as well. Um, let's see what we do next. So I back. I completed my. I completed my Ginsu's. I completed my Hurricane, and I completed my boots. So that's three effective items that will be very powerful, especially in a team fight. I have a Scythe, so I have at least some type of sustain and health regen, and I also have a BF sword. So this Ezreal really doesn't want it. I see Diana, and as soon as I see Diana, if you guys notice, I don't know why my quirky engaged that 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 heavy. <laughs> as soon as I see, let me see. As soon as I saw that little <laughs> shit that Diana did, I know for sure my attention is going from the Ezreal to the Diana. She already used her Q. I know it's on cooldown. Here we go. Boom. Oh. And thank you. Oh, well, hey, you know what? Hey, Corky, good shit, bro. Your, your thing? It really helped out. It slowed Diana. Boom. Look at that. Chunking, chunking, chunking. Bop, and dead. Diana's out. Going with my Corky. Gonna clear this up. Shredding through the minions. I'm gonna go help my, uh, my boy out. I'm gonna ult this guy. I did not know that they were doing Herald. However, this was fucking beautiful because I think I, I for sure killed the Jarvan, but then I'll, we it all the tendril jumps onto the Renekton I think so kill him. Uh, no, I didn't. It didn't. So I see the Renekton is a potential issue. Kill, okay, focus him, and then we focus him for the double kill. What did I tell you guys before? Four people are down. Let's push a lane. No one can stop us. Let's just push a lane. If you want to, group up so they're less likely to kill you all. Or kill one of you because you guys are grouped now. But just push a lane. Every time uh, enemy champions die or they're not in lane, make sure you punish them. If you don't, you're pretty much like giving, like giving them a chance to come back into the game. Tarek is and Corky are keeping them away, doing whatever they're doing. I'm still focusing on that in him because that's the ultimate goal. All right, this guy. Oh, I think I actually died here because they they went on to me. Yeah, see that Jarvan really focused me for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, this guy. I'm not saying you know to be a dick and to let uh whoever he ulted die, but at the same time it's like, dude, hello. I'm your boy, like, you've been sub supporting me the whole game. Have I not shown you that I can fucking carry? Why would you, you know, but hey, whatever. <sighs> See? Because this guy's here. Uh, our Shaco, God bless his heart, is over here. So it, it wasn't worth saving whoever he saved. Um, you know, I'm buying. What did I buy? I think, uh, yeah, I was building into, once I saw that, I knew that they were going to focus me hard. So I started building into GA. So now we're roaming. All right, we're getting red buff. Auto, auto, auto. 
Take that. I'm going to move up. I think. Okay, so here we get that. I see a ward. I see my Tarek. He's going for it. He, I'm not sure. No, okay. Um, if you saw the, the line that looking like I was an ult, I was going to. However, I did not. The reason why is because that's literally my only source of self peel. As soon as I throw out my ult, and I if I miss, I am fucked. I have no escape. I have like that is it. That is Varus's only source of peel. So if Tark wasn't with me, God bless his heart, he was with me the whole goddamn time. Um if I miss my ult. I have no self peel. I have no way of getting people off of me. So if I had thrown my ult and missed it, this Renekton would have had a fucking field day with me. I don't get close. I get a little close. I ult him right there. Boom. And right here, he's pretty much dead. I see Diana. Diana really wants it. I think she comes to me. By by the time here, the uh this guy's ult comes down. I think I don't heal. Did I heal? I'm not sure. I did heal, but they fucking just... Fuck me. Boom. Poor Diana dies. And Jarvan dies. So it was a 1 for 3. Pretty worth. I got another BF sword. Wait. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a BF sword to build into that shit. So right off of that, I'm telling my team, dude, three of them are dead. Two of the which, well, three of them are dead. The other two are here in mid lane. Get this tower. This tower is completely free. Even when I'm dead, I'm still observing the map. I'm like letting my team know, hey, by the way, look, check this out. I'm not trying to fucking uh, patronize or like, hey, fucking do this now because I'm a god tier player. No, I'm like, hey, look, guys, this is what's going on. This is where these people are currently at. This is what I think you guys should do. If you guys can, try to do it. If you guys can't, then don't do it because I'd rather you fucking run like a pussy and be alive then die and now we're short one person in the next team fight or something so we're doing bot lane i don't see any of the enemy uh champions one thing i've really fucked up on which after a while of playing is i've really fucked up on getting blue wards man i just i forgot to i forget to switch it out look how fast i'm tearing through this fucking turret Boom, boom, boom. Diana sees me. I see Diana miss her Q. That means, hey, re-engage. Ah, uh, she fucked me. Oh. Hey, we trade out Lamau. And now this poor Jarvan gets fucked. That's right, Jarvan. You shitty fucking Jarvan. How dare you fucking come up on me all the goddamn time. So one for two, completely worth. Okay, now it's a two for two, and Turek is alone. Okay, so at that point, is then... Well, we did take turret, did we? No. Did we take turret? We... Yeah, we took turret. Cool. So we're going, we're going. What did we buy? Okay, we bought GA, just because I didn't notice I was getting focused. Espinoza guy is going in on the... <laughs> on the... Dude, he's Yasuo. This Yasuo was fucking salty as fuck. He was really upset. So, before 30 minutes, I'm already at 22 and 5. If you guys have noticed, I was really safe early on. The more the game progressed, and I saw... Dude, I have a fucking lead. I played more aggressive, which... I shouldn't have, but... When, you know... You guys know, if you guys have played this game long enough, when you already have such a lead and you're just so fucking hard to kill and you're just killing everyone, you just get the, the biggest uh, hard on for lack, you know. It's kind of true, bro. When I get fed with Draven and I'm chasing people, I'm fucking just having a field day throwing fucking axes to everyone. So here I see, I'm already thinking, potential five, uh, four man ult, five man ult, but uh, we need to engage. Boom, throw it out, Jarvan gets down, boom, these are the two, Diana, focus on Diana, this guy ults me, fucking amazing, I get the Diana, next, this guy, he flashes out, 
Renekton um, cuts down the river because he's like, yo, fuck that. Uh, this virus wants to kill my children. And there you go, bro. As you guys saw, I played it safe, waited for my team, and, you know, let them do the thing, and then I engage. Once I throw my alt, they're not going anywhere. And that's free damage. Once we got a uh, mid, mid inhib, uh, come down here, I'm roaming down. I'm going to get that huge uh, wave of minions that's pushing down through here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that back. I'm going to get all this XP, all this free gold. Once I do that, and then I'll go back. Oh, all this. Oh, this was the one. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, dude. I was really happy here. All right. So as you guys can see, Tarek, I think, is about to have his ult. I have still my GA. I don't have my ult, but it will be up in 10 seconds, and I have heal. Jarvin fucking goes on to me. Uh, I think Diana or Ezreal goes on to me. And so does the Renekton. Everyone wanted my dick. <laughs> this is what happens. No, wait. Braum. I'm sorry. Braum wanted it. So Braum, Ezreal, and then the jungler. I kill. We kill Jarvin. I oh 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 the, it was the heal from the fucking um, BF sword that was keeping me alive and then my rune which every time I get a kill it gives me back health so check this shit out just just check this shit out boom as soon as I get in I start ulting I start uh autoing Jarvin boom 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 alt Jar this guy's ult comes down. Start. Mm. 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 So what is that? A three for two, bro. I'm sorry, guys. Let's watch that shit one more time. Look at look at the fucking stupidity that's going on. As soon as Ezreal comes in, I knew my that shit was gonna come in handy. As soon as he comes in, boom boom, I get the Renekton out of my face. Alright, so this is why Hurricane and your E are so fucking strong. Hurricane spreads your blight. So, I get it. like I said, every time you auto, a blight stack gets onto the um, the target that you auto, right? When you when you have Hurricane, you're, you're pretty much autoing three different people, right? Or four, I think. Or, I don't know. But you're autoing like three different people, let's say. Those are three people which have blight stacks now. And every time you auto them, it refreshes, right? So then when you throw your E, which is a area of effect ability, it procs those three. That's what happened there. I know I know you guys might be like, okay, dude, I get the point right here. But you guys, because there's a lot together and, you know, you guys that might be able to see. But I'm actually autoing the Ezreal and I'm actually autoing the Braum. All comes down. Look, I'm still autoing. Ready? Bah! <laughs> SP knows the guy was like, ah, I'm here to help. Tap me in, coach. Tap me in. So that's a three, four, two. And a tower. So that's a three for three. Well, three for four, no? Because tower, right? Oh, boy. Oh, oh, really? Oh, oh, so you think, oh. <sighs> you gotta love that 50% decrease healing. I'm telling you. I feel like I'm advertising Varus's E now. Like, hey, have you ever had to deal with, uh, a pesky uh, health regening crocodile or Alec, yeah, crocodile, right? He's a uh, Renekton is a crocodile, right? Well, he's a crocodile. Have you ever had dealt with a pesky uh, life stealing crocodile? And have you ever wondered what can you do to slow him down? <laughs> Here's Varus's E. 
what are we doing here? All right, so my boy uh, Fernando says he calls for a burn. I, uh, I think one of my boys said, oh, dude, I don't think you guys can do it. It's only two of you. And <laughs> to say the least, for, my boy Fernando was very surprised. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Jarvin goes through the wall. Let's break it down. Everyone's here. Jarvin puts the wall. The uh, fucking stick. Uh, this guy ults the bush. Jarvin comes through the wall. And I think ults somebody. Okay, he goes through the wall and does some shit. Braum goes to the, uh, the Jarvin. To do some shit or whatever. Right? Yep, I think. Diana, enter Diana and Ezreal from the right side. I'm here. I'm autoing the living shit out of these people. And. Oh, wait. No, this guy was here. Oh, so uh, that was Renekton that went through a wall. So it was good that I backed up. Fucking ult this Renekton. These guys are like, fuck. And as you can see. If Ezreal and Diana come anywhere here. They will be also rooted. Right? So they forcefully have to back up. Or they will be fucked pretty much. So they're pretty much they have no in that fight. I'm safe. Safe. I see Diana. Really? Diana's gonna. That's Diana's job. She really wants to kill me. So she misses that. I know her Q's out. She ulted. I know that. She didn't hit Quirky with the Q, so that alt shit is on cooldown. Boom. Switch attention to her, because I know she can kill me. Kill her. Get my speed boost. Automat Instead of hitting the Braum, even though he is close to me. Um, Renekton's not there. If you guys can see, Renekton is backing. Because he's like, bro, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want that noise. And their base is getting destroyed. Two. Once I killed Diana, which I know she takes priority over the Ezreal. Once I kill Diana, I'm going on that Ezreal. I have my attack speed. I have my red buff. Well, my um, my potion. I have my passive. I have my Binsu's. I, there is no reason why this that why I should not rip this uh, uh rip Ezreal on you. Essentially, is what I'm saying. Look, dead. Once I kill him, dead. Easy triple kill. <laughs> and this is when um, this is when um. SP, SP knows a guy, which is Diana, which now we're really cool friends. Uh, he was like, if you guys actually look at the chat, let's see. Instead of Varus, he put Varu. <laughs> Varu, speak up, please. Please let me know. He honestly thought I was smurfing. SP, I will tell you right now, my dude. Er, uh, uh, female, man. I on dude, I, I honestly don't like asking people's genders. I just, hey man, if you're cool, you're cool. If you're weird, I fuck that. You know, I'm not. Yeah, but uh, my dude, I'm not a Smurf, <laughs> and I'm not a, and I'm not scripting. Your team was just really that bad, <laughs> as you can now see what they were doing. And honestly, I've never had a game that I've. I've had close games, and I've had like 25 kills or whatever, which was an old Echo game, which honestly, this was not, this could not have been achievable if I hadn't had, if I had not had the support that I had, and if your team was not as bad as they were, honestly. That's the only reason I was able to get this crazy fed and this crazy ahead, and, you know, to be such a, such a presence in the game. <laughs> Are you a smurfer? Uh, or you have scripts on you. <laughs> this poor Renekton. This poor, this, you know what, bro? That Renekton, he's he's a dog. He's a dog for real. He's he's like a boy. You feel me? He's a, you know, hey, Renekton, I see you, bro. You wanted you wanted me to have a good night. You wanted me to have thirty kills. You're my dog. Hey, right? you're my dog. Good looking out, man. Good looking out. And there you go. <clears throat> so that is the game. Um. Oh, so, real quick. 
if you guys are still watching the fucking video, right? Um, X the Unlimited, thank you for making the guide. Um, he went, he goes lethal tempo. I do, I used to do uh, fleet footwork on all the ch champs, all ADC champs, just because I can heal. But uh, I don't know if they nerfed the healing or whatever. Which so now I do um, the three. The if you notice the uh, the shit that uh, uh, press the attack, which every once if you hit the same target three times. It uh, does bonus damage to them as well as any other sources of damage. Any other of your um, allies hit that person, it does damage a lot more damage to them as well. I do take Triumph, and I also do take a Clarity, uh, which is just more attack speed. <clears throat> and Triumph is, uh, if you notice, every time I kill somebody, I gain health back, a good amount of health. That's that's that. A Coup de Grasse is a staple for me, and these three, these three are staple with me in all ADCs that I play. Uh, Coupe de Grasse is just when they drop below a certain amount of health, it they, it deals more damage to them, essentially. Uh, I don't know if I do these, uh, but I do go something in Sorcery. <clears throat> um, starting items will be Adorn's Blade and health, po and health Pot, except in the case that let's say you're going up against a Poke Lane, like a a brand, a Zyra, a um, Heimer, which apparently now he's considered a fucking ADC bullshit. Um, fucking ADC shit on Heimer and bot lane. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, but uh, pokey lanes, you know that they can hit you from afar. You want a Dorans just so you can stay at least somewhat healthy in lane um, and be able to get farm, right? So you don't have to back so early. Uh, with Varus, you go, you're going to want to go recurve bow. Boots, uh, and then pickaxe. So this is gonna be your first item. Uh, second item, if you can get these two together, beautiful. If you can get recurve bow and a uh, refillable pot, amazing. If you can get all three, you're balling. You're 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 golden. Um, you're gonna wanna then um, build, finish up building into Ginsu's. That will help you kill minions and all that shit quicker. I usually always go Berserker Greaves. <clears throat> there are moments where you would want to go Ninja Tabbies or Mercs. Um, you know, if they have a lot of uh, CC and AP damage or whatever. Or if they have a lot of AD and shit or whatever, you would want to go Ninjas. However, if you can play it safe enough and you can get away, you know, with a little wiggle room, Berserker Greaves all the way, all the time. Um, so you got your Berserks, your Ginsu's. Hurricane, as you saw, extremely effective. What I didn't build was Wit's End, which uh, it gives you attack speed and magic resist. If they had a lot, a lot more AP damage, which they did not, they only had Diana, which was AP. <clears throat> I would have gone that. However, they really didn't have that much AP uh, damage, so I did not. I, and um, I went for Guardians just because I saw that they were able to jump on me a lot and fucking just destroy me. So that helped me come back and at least get one more kill. And if I like, if I killed somebody, oh, you kill me, no problem. I can I can continue fucking up at least one more person. And this is the uh well uh fuck unlimited X unlimited um build stuff that for good offense uh, blade of the ruin king infinity edge uh, bloodthirster lord dominix. For defensive items, Mama Mortis, Guardian GA, um, Curious Scimitar. These are and these are how f the uh, full builds will look like. For uh, this, you would want to go with that. More to reminder, you usually always want to go. If they have a lot of um, life steal and sustain. Uh, just to minus minus that, uh, not you know, and your E already does that. However, this will greatly improve that and it does have um armor penetration uh frozen mallet i'm guessing if you would want to kite more or catch up to your enemy and uh yeah this is just more an event i honestly would kind of just not pay attention to this if you guys want to this is kind of like maybe something to have fun with um but as an adc i don't i i honestly don't know i don't know how to feel about this um you know, this is more of you're using your eight on hit abilities to do that.
Um, obviously, as you guys saw, maxing E, then Q. Wait, what? Here he maxes W. Hey, he does that. I do me. I max my E and I max my Q, then I max my uh, W. Aside from that, all right, cool. All right, straight. Aside from that, um, that's how you play these various guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please do drop um, questions in the uh, comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think on the video because these videos do take some time. This is just something that I wanted to do like this just because this is, you know, I'm able to just kind of switch between this is what this does. Okay, this is what this does. And, you know, stop the uh, video and shit. Which in uh, Sony Vegas, I'm unfortunately not able to and actually interact with the video as I'm talking over it. But aside from that, guys, definitely let me know what you think. Definitely uh, drop a like and uh, comment. Definitely uh, let me know uh, what you guys think and all that good shit. Aside from that, uh, catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>